Heinrich, you saw his athleticism and his size and so on and so forth and all that sort of business. The thing with, with Logan, uh, you know, we missed all of uh, any developmental work with regards to what he needed to get corrected in, in the spring of last year. I mean, it was zero. Yeah. And then when the season starts, you can't do it. Yeah. Except for the stuff you do after practice, drill work, in terms of what they're going to be tested on, drill work wise. Um, so then they got that cranked up again in, in January when they got back, and then we were able to continue that through spring, and now they're doing that. So through by the time we start camp, they've had almost maybe for a 12, 13, 14 weeks of drill, drill stuff. And so I anticipate that those issues with regards to him will be corrected. Well, what were the issues? His, uh, at, the, at the point of release control, it was just inconsistent. Okay. You, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So as a result, the, the control, and we knew that going in. Right. That wasn't, that wasn't anything we didn't realize. It was right. like, oh, this is something new. And you're not we, afraid of fixing that stuff. I mean, yeah, some quarterback it, it, coaches it, don't want to do it, but yeah, you did, it, you're it, comfortable. It, it's an easy fix, really. Yeah. Um, and so I'm, I anticipate that, that that will be corrected. You know, um, and when the, when he got in and had a chance to participate, particularly in fall camp of last year, yeah. and then even through the season, you know, Frost was pretty fired up about the young cat. You know, sure. Um, and then this this past spring, that issue kind of creeped up. You know, and he may have came into camp cold, which he'll probably never do again. But, right. Um, yeah, that was the thought process because he asked me about that. We don't know much about you know him as a runner here, but my sense is he's a special runner. Yeah, God, the young guy ran what 10 eight in the hundred meters as a sophomore senior. So, yeah. And the thing that we really liked about him, and most of our guys have that sort of characteristic. You know, he's a quick blinker. He makes fast decisions. He typically doesn't second guess himself about doing X Y Z, and he, he, he plays fast. We just have to get that one little issue thing go. Uh, it's Harvard ready now. Like, I mean, you know, he, he came he, in early. Well, you know, the, the only thing I can tell you, Sam, is with regard to, you know, testing him on the things that needed to be tested. You know, like, for example, his playbook test and all that sort of business. Um, and how he's been working out with the drills and watching all of that sort of stuff progress. Um, he's, uh, he's a pretty sharp cat now. And then it's just a matter of the experience of driving the car. Right? Right. You can read the manual on how to drive the SOB, but it doesn't happen until you right. actually get in there, you know, and you got to operate a clutch and a four speed and all that madness. Sure. You know, so, yeah. And for him, just like most guys, you know, and I told him this, he was really, really hard on himself the first uh, week or so of spring ball. And <laughs> we talked about it after, you know. And um, when he had a spring evaluation, and, and everything was just going 100 miles an hour on the porch. Yeah. And he really didn't, and it happens to all of them, right? When they leave high school to come, he should have been going to the prom and going to classic, right. Carney Catholic. Right. So that last week he started feeling more comfortable with everything. You know, from getting a signal and knowing what it is off the top of his head, being able to tell either a wide receiver or a tight end or a running back what his responsibility is as well. Yeah, so I, I feel like it's great. With those young guys after spring, what did you tell them that they needed to accomplish this summer? Um, two things. Uh, one was to ensure that the culture that's been established stays intact. Yeah. And then to make certain they get their offseason quarterback drills taken care of. Because they'll still do their playbook work and they'll still look at tape and whatever throughout the summer. Um, so that's not an issue, but making certain those two things um, took place was important. When was the last time that you uh, you had a quarterback that didn't enroll early? Because everyone at Nebraska All of them have, around. yeah. Yeah, all of them have enrolled early. Can you envision a scenario in which a guy wouldn't anymore? It seems like that's almost with that position a must. Yeah, unless he's really wedded uh, to a, a spring sport. You know, and he feels really passionate about that. It's not a deal breaker for us. You know, Frost understands that. Coach Frost understands that I do, and that, that that's what he wanted to do. We told 
We told Heinrich um, the same thing as we told Logan. If you feel passionate about running track and doing what you need to do in spring, go ahead and do it. But they understand <laughs> what you're talking about. If I can, if I can get ahead of you know four or five months of just cognitive work and then jump into spring ball and then fall camp, uh, summer and then fall camp, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky for that. You know. Do you have to remind yourself with those guys that uh, everything's fresh for them in the spring, or do you just treat them like they're just there in the group and they're there? That's a great question, Mike. And we were just talking about that, and I just had to remind. Uh, Harvard, don't don't be so hard on yourself, right? It's going to take a little time before our offense feels like your high, high school offense when you know everything about it. As we've talked about before, you know, so the limiting factor is not whether a guy has the physical tools to do X, Y, Z. It's, you know, it's, it's up in his head. Those guys leave college ball and they're going to the, the NFL. That's, that's sometimes it's not always the biggest factor for those young guys. So, yeah, had to, no doubt. And had to do the same thing with Logan. Because he he missed all of spring last year. Now he got a jump on on it with regards to you know uh, signals and that sort of stuff. But we are still basically starting from the ground ground up. What fired Frost up about some others last fall when you guys were in the midst of things? I think uh, his ability to see his innately good vision. You know, you can get a guy to be good if not great, but innately he has he has that. You know. Now, what ended up happening to him a little bit through spring ball is anytime you're worried about something with regards to a, a cycle motor, your cycle motor skills, throwing whatever it might be, yeah, it's, it's going to have an impact on your ability to process information because you're, you're, it's not all there, right? Some of the some of that part of your frontal lobe is getting used up with the mechanical piece, and it shouldn't be. It should just all be cognitive. So. So the hope is he's he's through whatever issue he is by yes. the time he comes back. And yes, yes, and just watching him as they uh, started their uh, summer drill work, um, I can't do anything with them, but I can look from afar. Yeah. It looks like he's got it pretty tight. When you say vision, you mean like his ability to scan the field as a quarterback, not so much running. Right? Yeah, you know, because sometimes guys, you know, whatever it is, you know, their, their, their focus of attention might be like this wide and they're looking into particular error with regard to progression. He just innately can see a wider picture, you know, and he's, he's really good at it. Is that a coachable thing to be able to, to Yeah, you can always get a guy better because of the reason we just talked about. You know, if his psychomotor skills aren't second nature, it's going to have an impact on his ability function cognitive. So you get that taken care of. Now we're now let's see where we are with regard to the real hardcore piece of the cognitive part. And then making sure his eyeballs and his feet are always in the right place. How, how big of a season can Adrian have? Like where he is mentally right there and physically he clearly looks a little different than he did two years ago. What how big of a season are you expecting from him? Well I just want him to make certain he's always uh, giving us a chance to win a game. And not to do anything that's gonna endanger that. We've talked about this before. We're just one cog in the wheel of success or failure, right? But we feel like he could but trust we, but, the but we, but we could, previous years. We could screw it up in a heartbeat. Yeah, he just wanted to do too much. Yeah. You know, God, man, let your guys play. We talked about that idea. You let your teammates take care of the damn football. Man. You know, and I, that piece of it, I think, is in his noodle, you know, like never before. You know, there's a, a, a uh, there's an aspect where a quarterback has to take over a game. I get that. Sure. I understand that whole piece of it. But at the same time, right? Be smart about having the will to do that. Why did, that why just, did why did he get? Why did you guys put him on the bench? I don't think we've ever asked you that. We haven't really talked to you during the season. Well, from an objective standpoint, it has nothing to do with truth or honesty and all those sorts of things. You know, we sat down. He and I with. Uh, Frosty and I with him and we talked and then we talked for another half an hour and I outlined the points that were critical that uh, led to the decision and it wasn't based on I think and I believe or any of that sort of stuff it was just the objective numbers with regards to doing XYZ that finally dude you can't do that the interception in the Northwestern game yeah that one that was was that the Torqued you off, torqued for us Well, yeah, to, to be quite honest, because it didn't, it didn't need to happen. It should have never happened. Sure. And Adrian understood that, you know. Um, but it was, it was hard on me. It was hard on him, man. I mean, he's a, he, 
you treat them like your son, you feel that way about them. And so as difficult as it is to tell your son the truth about himself uh, from an objective standpoint, um, if you ever had to do that, you know what I'm talking about. Does the instability that he's had with the, the surrounding cast of characters, could that play into the feeling of needing to do that, too that's much? That's a great question. Well, we've talked about that, Mike, and, and you can't let that influence um, making decisions you know, making good decisions, not being careless, uh, not wanting to do too much. Um, yeah, so uh, we've talked about that piece of the Have you listened to his podcast yet? I did. Yeah. What yeah, I heard the I heard the first one, but I haven't heard the one with uh, uh, Beef Jerky. Yeah. 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 So he's but. had he's had a couple of conversations on there that are just about his maturation process, mm -hmm. learning to, I guess, not care about what people say on social media or learning like what you're talking about to yeah. just do his job and try do to do your too job. much. Yeah. Is that just a natural progression for a guy getting older, going through a maturation process? Is that something that you can help or you just have to let him kind of figure it out on his own? My experience has been that it usually it might take a guy a year. There's obviously more factors if you want to compare that experience with Mackenzie Moore. There was just a different cast of characters, as Mike was pointing out, with, with Mackenzie than there was with, with Adrian. But that still should not influence how you respond to a defense taking care of the ball. You know what I'm saying? So my experience has not been that. It's, it, it, it's been a year. Usually it takes a guy a year to kind of figure it out. It seems like he, he feels that going through getting benched last year, going through kind of that that process helped him. Do, do you get the same sense? Well, yeah, yeah. You know, but, um, you know, Evan Bland asked me the question, you know, uh, to dovetail on that with regards to uh, the external motivation versus internal motivation, as I interpreted Evan's question, you know. And I, it, there, in a million years, I would have never thought that Adrian's the kind of guy that needs external motivation, right? Because typically quarterbacks are self-motivated guys, and they're going to do whatever it takes within the framework of themselves, not anything outside of them, to get better. So, um, yeah, if it helped him, great. But it had to be done. It wasn't pleasant for him or me, but it had to be done. How difficult was recruiting a quarterback in a pandemic? Because a lot of what you do relies on being there in person to your Yeah, identify. that's a freaking awesome question. You, you, I think because we do a, a good job of the analysis with regard to the biomechanics, you know, and I guess that's just a part of my DNA and my background, I felt pretty good about what we were going to get with Harvard. Mm -hmm. Because then you sent me some tape, and yada, yada, yada just him throwing whatnot. So uh, what I saw on tape and then what I saw in the individual throws that he sent me. Do you ever, is there a time that you can think of where you watch the kid and you like him and you wonder why no one else is on him or you at this point, you don't have to think about that. <laughs> Ross, Coach Ross and I scratch our heads all the time. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. But, you know, Peter's in the eye of the beholder and all that sort of stuff, right? So, yeah. You're talking about vision, yes. anticipation with Logan. Do you, did, have you seen the same things with Heinrich? It looks like he's yeah. that he sees he does. stuff before it comes open. Yeah, he does. Yeah, and he's, he's caught on to how we key and read stuff fairly easy. It was a bit difficult to begin with because it was more memorization than just, just knowing the concept. I don't know if that makes any sense. Uh, so that took up some capacity in his brain. But as, as I said, as he got more comfortable with that and things were just natural for him in terms of interpreting the signal and the play call, yeah, yeah, he, he does have an A.B. good vision. Yeah. 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 Yeah.